Hello and welcome. I'm Johnny, I'm an engineer, and you want to implement a delightful menu animation in Svelte. Let's create a Svelte file for our animated hamburger and have it render an SVG. We don't want a fill and do want to use current color for the stroke. Visually, our animation starts as three lines, which we could draw with three simple paths. Let's increase our stroke width to taste. Now, the cross we want in the end is just two simple paths, but in order to animate to it in a cool way, we'll add a few more points to our top and bottom lines and play with the stroke dash array and stroke dash offset attributes. I'll isolate the lines to make what we're doing a bit more clear. Let's call this line top, give it a class and open a style tag to define its rules. We can use stroke dash array to erase the part of the stroke we don't want to see yet. The magic numbers are 40, 160. Middle will just rotate from the center, so let's set its transform origin to 50%. And bottom will use the dust array trick again. Forty eight five. Now, when the whole thing is open, we'll rotate it and we'll rotate the middle line a further 90 degrees. For the top and bottom lines, we'll set the dash offset to minus 64 pixels. Do read Mikael's article, by the way. It's where I saw this SVG animation trick and Mikael explains the design process of something like this further. All right, let's use the open class. It's going to be applied according to the open prop, which starts as false. Let's wrap the SVG in a button because we're going to toggle open on click. Sweet, looks like we've set things up correctly. Let's apply nice transitions. Let's define our transition duration as a CSS variable, so we can tweak it in just the one place and use a transition for transform on the whole SVG element. And on the middle line and a transition for stroke dash offset for the top and bottom lines. Now we're talking. Let's work on the accessibility by setting the area expanded according to the open and allow for an area label. And a custom width. Amazing, and since we've already exported open and on click, we could use our hamburger in a controlled way too. Let's add it to our header. We are replicating our state management a layer up because we want to use the same open prop we're passing to the hamburger to conditionally render our nav element. And with that, we can now have fun clicking around. If a user clicks this, they're hooked, guaranteed. Seriously though, use your new powers responsibly. 
Your first instinct when you see a hamburger menu being designed should be to challenge whether it's needed at all. We should be doing our best to keep things visible, not behind clicks. But there are valid use cases for the old burger, and when you gotta do it, do it with style. Thanks for the suggestion, leave more in the comments, and thanks a bunch for watching. See you around.